Hello, welcome back to Protome Plays Mario Maker 2. I have to think of a better name for this than that. At the very least for now it's, you know, that. I'm Protome, or Kieran, or one of the actual correct pronunciations of Protome. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to start playing some levels from the Waypoint forums like before. Links for the forum will be down below, codes for the course IDs will be down below, and if I remember, there will be timestamps, so if you made one of these levels and you specifically want to see it, go down and hit that. But I recommend watching them all because they're all good levels. If not, at least go give them a play or something. So first up we have Medio Man, which is definitely not Mega Man. That'd be terrible and copyright infringement. Uh, by Laser Piranha. Or Crimson Bailet on the forum. We played one of his before which was the one we had to carry the POW block all the way to the end and when I recorded it the level was broken and you actually didn't need the POW block at the end and it was hilarious to me <laughs> they went and fixed it afterwards but I found it hilarious at the time anyway let's get into this there actually was a Mega Man maker there's been multiple of them there was a fan made one that was just called Mega Man Maker. But Capcom made an official one back on the PSP called Mega Man Powered Up. Which Mario Maker, I don't want to say stole, but was heavily inspired by. I feel like the devs of this game definitely played that game. Like it has too many similarities in like the, the Maker. Uh... Oh, it's like the level select screen. Or the boss rush screen. Either or. Oh god. I'm killing Blooper Man. My least favorite Mega Man boss. Oh my god. Dodging all my attacks. It's like fighting Neo. Wait. Oh, because you need eight coins. Okay. That's a good way of doing that. Most of these levels just do, like, the different uh, keys or something. Restricting it behind coins is pretty good. Although, I wonder if I can just do it. Oh, so close. Oh, I definitely test this. But not enough! Haha! <laughs> Who needs to deal with your boss fights? Uh, see ya, suckers. <laughs> okay. You may be able to break this level a little bit. Yes, I already got that coin because I cheated. But I mean, where's the fun in that? The fun in this level is that it's a themed, you know, boss got rush gauntlet from Mega Man. You just ruin it for yourself if you cheat. Like me. Kill the bee. Bee man, the most dangerous of bosses. Is there. There's, I guess Mega Man bosses are usually not animals. That's more a Mega Man X thing. Also, you can't do much around that except Mario. Um, it's no surprise that I love Mario Maker though, because I played so much Mega Man Powered Up back in the day. Like, the PSP was basically my introduction to online gaming. So, like, I, the, a game that would eventually inspire this was basically the, like, the first online, one of the first online games I played. So, it was like my entry to online gaming and it continues to be one of my favourite things is this kind of make a level and share with people thing. There was a big, well not a big community but there was a decent community around uh, the Mega Man Powered Up stuff. You know we had forums where we did things like this, there wasn't you know, people making videos of it I don't think because recording for a PSP sounds hellish. I'm not on PSP Go though but Mega Man Powered Up wasn't on that. Uh, 
blazing through these. I wish Mega Man was this easy. Um, well, not on this one, right? The first one. Oh my god. Okay, I <laughs> like the actual hardest one to last. Which would be fine if I hadn't already wasted my mushroom. Ah, ha, ha. I should make my fashion. I need to do the whole boss rush again. Alright, let's do the harder one first. I know where he is. Right at the start. Oh, I love this stuff. I don't see it in every video. That would be really cool if he was under there. Oh my god! <sighs> Alright. Let's take him out. He's not even that hard. I beat him a billion times in this game. I'm too busy thinking about Mega Man powered up. I wonder if the server's still up. Like, can I still play... The oh God, the, the Castlevania level I made. I mean, it wasn't actually Castlevania. It was like Mario Maker, where that you had to just do the best you could. Well, I tried to make a kind of branching path, kind of Castlevania looking, because they added DLC, like free DLC. They added costumes for roll, and then also added themes, uh, which is something I hope this game does. But they branched out, so everything still played like Mega Man, but you could use a Ghosts and Goblins theme to make everything look Ghosts and Goblins-ish. Oh god, it's blue. That was cool. I'm gonna spend this entire video talking about how good Mega Man Powered Up was. I'm just wondering now if there's any way for me to do a video on it. Mm, right. This is the Koopa. This is the Koopa. Yeah, the Koopa may be not the best idea because it does just break that. But you also can't break it into any other, so it doesn't really make any difference. And the exit's on this one. Oh my god. Can't platform today. I'm hoping to get through a few levels in this. But, I mean, you'll already know based on the description whether that's true. But I'm falling far behind on the forum thread. And after the last video, I got a lot of nice comments from people on that thread, basically being like, hey, thank you for playing my level, it was nice to see, etc, etc. And that just makes me want to try and get to everyone, you know? Which is hard, because obviously it's a moving target. <laughs> Alright, two more, or three more. Two more after this, is what I was thinking. Oh god, the second hardest. That was speedrun tactics. Although I guess actual speedrun tactics do what I did, I did earlier and skip the bosses entirely. Yeah, I've done twice. One more. Can't take any hits. Which one is this? What's this guy? Easy. Is there gonna be a final boss? Am I gonna die? This is all definitely possible. Uh, hey, stairs. Does the castle theme in 3D World automatically make stairs if you use the ramp? That's pretty cool, so. Anyway, that level's good. 
It reminded me of Mega Man. <laughs> MGM with the best comments again. Good stuff. Yeah, I enjoyed that. You can very easily collect those coins is the only thing. But then people are only ruining it for themselves. Next up we have Body Betrayal by DW. DW on the forum as well. Don't know what their names are referenced to. Could be their actual name, but I'm going to assume it's Arthur's sister from Arthur. Good old DW. Uh, escort your body, but don't let them betray you. Hmm. This could be a... Like, hitting on off switches to let something through, but then you have to beat it at the last moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Buddy betrayed me. How you meant to do that? I meant to run back down there. Need them to kill that. But then I can't jump on it. <laughs> it just drags me. So I'm stuck. Someone got down there. This trick that I'm just missing. I like the whole shell bouncing around contraptions made down there though. A brief second that you can get through there. Let me look at it again. Not walk into the piranha plant like an idiot. How did that person get down there? Uh, maybe like a brief second? I don't think that's what you're meant to do. I'm gonna try it. Get to the end. I'm just repeating the same thing. Can't duck. Just duck enough. If 
Duffin's enough. That'd be pretty good. Oh god! They changed... So all of the physics in this game are similar to New Super Mario Bros. Like, there are small differences, like, jumps are slightly different between the games and stuff. But they all have a slight... slidiness to it. I need to be closer than that. They all have a slight slidiness to it that New Super Mario Bros. has, so, like... Yeah. I let go now. I let go now. I admit that it's also because I run everywhere. No. Oh no, it's only shooting one at a time. I broke it. I broke it. I broke your level. I was wondering if I could get two out and make them crash into each other. Which would be fun. This level has a high completion rate, which leads me to believe I'm just doing something really stupid. Definitely. Doesn't seem to be a lot of your know, choices. Ah, I'm missing something. There's a little one-way door, so I can't go back. That's a floor. So I can't go down. I can't go up. There's no invisible blocks or anything. It's just this. I can kill my buddy. That doesn't help anyone though. Because I still can't go back. Now I'm just trapped. Let me see if I can kill my buddy. No one has died in that corner. And that thing goes off in the corner. I wonder if the way it bounces, it doesn't hit that corner. Only one way check. I'm using the death markers to kind of, you know, solve a puzzle. Oh, because he becomes your hat. I forgot you could wear it. I'm an idiot. I knew I was messing something. Yeah, you can wear them as hats. I'm an idiot. That level's very good, though. That's a smart use of springs. Smart use of friendship. Uh, oh god, this moves so slowly when you're using a D-pad. Okay, let's not do that, then. Oh my god. What word can be used? End? It's, what? Can you not use a heart? Oh my god. Nintendo. Hearts are good. There's no emojis in this keyboard. It's like it's from the goddamn 90s. Oh well. Live with it. I like that level. Good job, DW. On to the next one. Next up, we have levels of Z Maker, Z Mod on the forums. First up, we have Gifts of the Magic Koopa. Uh, Z posted five different levels in one post. I probably gonna do two of them just now. I'll put two of them into my list for the next one. 
and then one after that, just to break them off a bit. Because I want to get through a few different posts here. And even though I'm sure these levels would be good, I don't want this to be the Z Maker episode. Although the output some people in this forum have been having, I could totally just do user specific episodes. <laughs> Uh, so this one's Gift to the Magi, which, let me actually look at the description he posted here. Gift to the Magic Koopa, sorry Magic Koopa, not Magi. Defeat the enemy's challenge using two different RNG arenas that require improvisation. That's good. That's cool looking intro. Is that the audience for this? Oh god. Oh, so this is why he's RNG, because there is magic of a... Uh... One down. That's a cool effect. Oh my god, how many magic of are there? Go on, buddy. Give me a mushroom. Ah. Uh... No! He killed ten of them. End of this. Camix. And this is nighttime sky, so all of oh god, I didn't mean to destroy that. So everyone acts like they're underwater. Like that one Pirates of the Caribbean movie. that up. I'm doomed. No, oh, I messed this up. So badly. I mean, not. I would assume there's five in here. Right? There's two arenas. My assumption would be five in each, right? I don't know if I want to break through these. Right, let's try the other one then. We'll see. Five in each would make sense though. Oh, there's six in, oh, there was a four when I went into the other one, okay. I was wondering, I thought those coins looked like a four, but I didn't properly pay attention. Come to me, my magic Koopa. Two more. I know you're in here. You can't hide from me. Mario comes for us all someday. No. I thought there wasn't enough space there to get a bit of a dash up to slide under it. That would have been unfortunate. I'm the greatest. Uh, except for that. Ignore that. That's a good level. I really like that one actually. Good use of theme. Good fun little gauntlets. There's a lot of people that have made like kind of gauntlets like that, but that was a good little... It was the fun one. All right, let's just go straight into the next one, which is, I'm gonna look at my list to make sure it matches up, because they may not post them in order. Wings to the sky. Here's the next one. It's a coin hunt. Collect coins. If they're all this short, I may actually just go through all five of these. It was more of an interesting time, but if Z has mostly made relatively short levels, then that's not bad. I mean, you know what I mean? 
You know what I mean. It's not nothing in here. Hmm. Give me a coin card. So 150 coins. That's a lot of coins. There's a fairy here though. Ice goals. Ice goals. No, 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 no. This music's so good. Hammer Bros. It technically has wings, but it's too lazy to use it. Oh my god, where the hell did that come from? This is dropping mushrooms. Where did the where did the beetle come from? Confused. Oh my god. These damn swinies. I'm getting PTSD flashbacks to Thwomp Bromp. The spinies that kept destroying my run. What a good level. I think it's just stuck with me because it was one of the first levels I played, but it was also just really fun. Um, let's go down, why not? I assume both of them will give the coins you need. Oh my god. Ghosts. Why is it always ghosts? One of my favourite moments in the Yakuza games is in 6. There's a quest where Kiryu thinks he's being haunted. And, oh god. And he literally has a line that I've screenshotted and I used as like my profile picture in a bunch of places for a while. Which is just him going, I don't want to be haunted anymore. <laughs> very simple, Kiryu. Looking very straight faced. That series is so good. I wish I had time to play Judgment. But there's too much Mario Maker to be played. I had as much fun recording myself play Judgment as I did Mario Maker. I would have finished it by now. But there's just something about Mario Maker that it's so much fun to play, but because of the community aspect of it, it's so much fun to play other people's levels and, you know, record it so they can see it. And, you know, and then when I break stuff, people can, you know, go, oh, I've learned from that. <laughs> I think, or at least I hope the thing people have learned mostly from this series is there's cool stuff you can do in Mario Maker 2 that these people that made these levels are doing and not, hey, you can break these levels in this way because that's what Kieran did. Because that would be unfortunate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you stupid thwomp. I didn't know you could do that. It's pretty good. I'm still quite far off. There we go. No, I'm not. I just need one more. And there's some there. There's some up here as well. Oh, but I destroyed the thing too, too soon. Okay, let's get these ones. Hey, Thwompy. Please don't kill me. Oh, they're horizontal thwomps, all of them. Horizontal thwomps are terrifying. Unnatural against God, and I love it. Oh, I can't make that last jump. Go, Mario, you can do it. I believe in you. Well, at least he shot all those fireworks. Or whatever dog is in that castle is freaking out. I like that. Yeah, that was relative short as well. Let's just keep going. I lied, this is the Z episode. Uh, jumping practice, intermediate. I'll just drop my controller. Jumping practice, intermediate is the next one. Okay, this might be the one that breaks it then because the clear rate's pretty short. So if this takes too long. Oh. 
collect any spin. I don't think I do. I just need to land on one of these. Oh, I've seen a few levels like this. And I'm bad at them. Because as you might have noticed from these seven episodes, I'm not very good at this game. I do enjoy it though. I should probably be a lot better at Mario platforming given how much I've played of it. Oh god, this is terrifying. I keep just overshooting it. I can do it. I believe in myself. This. I put my heart and soul into it. Yeah, I could have practiced, but I put my heart and soul into it. Do I need to bring one of those over? That seems hard. Oh my god. This time. Okay, this time. How much Konami still make video games? Because they can make Castlevania Maker. And that'd be really fun. Like old school Castlevania, not Metroidvania, Castlevania, not Symphony of the Night and the GBA games. I love those games. But I mean like the the level based ones are probably be better for a maker format. Doing a full Metroidvania style like a Metroid maker I've seen people recommend or suggest, but I think it's too complicated for people. I wouldn't know where to start. Like I I could probably make cool individual Metroid rooms. Like a full thing. Oh god, that was that wasn't my fault. That was bad timing to the point where I hit my microphone. Apologies for that. Oh my god. It's not even that hard, I'm just making silly mistakes. Okay. Give me a beetle. And then you go down there. Ah. I hate everything about this. And I missed the easy bit. Because of course I did. Because that's the running theme of this. I still love that there's rainbows in this theme. God. I started making a uh, Mario World Sky theme world, but it's just a very straightforward like Mario style level, like a kind of like maybe a you know three two ish in level. That's too specific. Like a third world kind of difficulty of level, not a, a you know super super difficult and not a super super easy. Most levels I make are literally like first world level of. Oh my god. Difficulty. That's bad timing. That's just stupid. That was also just stupid. I thought I'd done it twice. Wait for this. Give me... Give me the bug. Ah uh, no! How do you do that? I think I need to make the jump while it's still red. Okay, this is definitely going to be the, the last see <laughs> one this episode. I'll play their other couple levels next episode. Wish there will be another episode because this seems to be a popular enough series. I will keep doing it. Uh, we will be continuing to do edited content again soon, though. Um, I originally had the plan... Like, I had a buffer of the You Might Have Missed episodes that we've been doing recently. Which we're now through, because it turned out only two of them were actually a good. I have a third one that's partway done, but... I changed, like I explained in the previous episode, I changed from using Premiere to using Final Cut, so I've been, you know, 
uh, this series started as a way to learn that because you know it's, they're, they're similar enough and then this series ended up being fun <laughs> so i've kept doing it but i'm still going to you know my wonder song is the next one how do i get in there i need all the coins i guess Um, but these will also continue. The idea is we just want to do more video content. Uh, ben is doing an unboxing video, I believe, of the Crusader Kings board game, which I'm going to edit. Um, oh, come on. Right. Oh, no. That's too early that time. Oh, how do you time this? At least I've kind of got this bit down. Um, I don't really you know, care about unboxing videos myself. But I get that people like them, so... I say I don't care about them. I've, I've used unboxing videos. Uh, and board games are one of the few times I actually think it makes sense. Because you want to get a kind of scale of the product. Um, I mainly use it for like tech stuff where I'm like, how big is this hard drive I'm buying? Hard drive is a bad example. But I mean, someone probably does unboxing videos for hard drives. But for like phones is the thing. You know, people are like, hey, this is the new iPhone in here as compared to the old one that's slightly bigger. And having the idea is useful. Oh my god, too late again. I can't get the jump down though. Too far of an angle. I think it was too early as well. I think I would have fallen through it again. That was just silly. I thought it was going to be the end of me. I don't want to give up though. We're so close. If we can beat Edfin's levels, we can beat these ones. I think Edfin's. Monstrosities are... <laughs> Monstrosities makes it sound mean, but I really like both of Eppin's levels that I've played, or three of Eppin's? I forget how many I've played. But they're the ones that stick in my mind as, like, sins against God. <laughs> Incredibly fun, but, oh my god. Everything about them feels designed to look cool while also being as spiteful as possible. And I mean that in the most loving way possible. Oh, come on. I just want to follow the coins again. Oh! That was not entirely my fault. Is it even possible to get the timing down for that? That must just be somewhat luck based. Because you can't really see the beetle from there. I assume that they just intend you to make this jump the first time. But I'm bad at it, so I'm, you know, taking my time. Ah, so close. The end is in sight. I'm gonna do it. I don't give up on episodes here. Unless they're Bob Alm episodes that don't work 100% efficiently or that one car level that I was just stupid I don't think I, I never talked about that one did I someone I forget the name of the user uh, they made a car level that I played on like the second episode and I recorded that episode I'm pretty sure at like 1am and I was just not thinking and I couldn't make the last jump on it because you have to hit this on-off switch. All you have to do is drive your car into it, and I didn't. I didn't. 
I didn't I couldn't conceptualize that. The entire level is built around forcing you to do that. Like it's way more complicated to do what I did and slow down and jump out of the car and stuff. Oh god. So yeah, that's not a that's not a level design issue, that's a that's a Kieran design issue. It was not built properly, clearly. Oh my god. It's got to that point where I'm making the stupid mistakes in the start of the level that I had down. Alright. Alright. Come on. Get here. Okay. Ah! I need to start further left and make that jump the first time. The timing for that beetle seems to be once it hits the block in the middle, so it's bouncing back towards it, to the left, if that makes sense. Hard to explain. This isn't a strategy guide, so I don't need to explain. This block here. So, now, oh, and if I jump properly, I would have nailed it. It would work perfectly. There's three of those beetles down there. Why was there only one by the time I fell down? Can they walk out of there? Did I do something stupid? That's also possible. Did I somehow kill them? What did I do? Ah. Uh, dumb mistakes. Dumb mistakes. Here's three of them down there. So yeah, you shouldn't need to have... My, my issue is about, hey, it's lock of the draw. That seems to just be lock of the draw. I've definitely landed on the beetles there. <laughs> I, went, I overcorrected to where they were last time. There's some luck in that first bit. But you have enough time you can really correct, it's, it's all my fault. Right. Stop hesitating. This time. Ah! I need to just jump up there the first time. If you hit, if you hit that corner, you're doomed. So the fact that corner is there at all is mean. That was the wrong timing on that. This time. <laughs> Not this time. Come on. I'm so close. Yeah, so the issue I had before at the start where I was like, hey, this is going to be random if you have to try and drop on this one beetle at the end. Isn't actually the case. I just apparently got a bad issue. Ah, oh, messed up again. Need to run. It's too high to just jump. This panics just a little time. I need to jump higher for that one. I just drop it here. Oh, I can. That makes that way faster. <laughs> oh, right. I can't even blame controllers because, again, I'm using the Super Nintendo Mini Super Nintendo controller. And it is great. It's just. The Super Nintendo had one of the best controllers. I don't think anyone can really deny that. Especially the non-American one with the colourful buttons and the none of the weird concave buttons. Oh, come on. Please all be here. Why did one of them vanish? There was three. 
That's unfortunate. That must be like a weird memory thing. Anyway. Level's real good. I don't know what's up with those beetles randomly vanishing, but... That's a... Unfortunate issue that I think is a Mario Maker issue and not a... You know, not a Z issue. We will play through the other two of Z's levels next time. Assuming I remember, and if I don't remember... Z, if you watch this, message me on the forums and remind me for the one after and I'll make sure to do it because I want to play your levels because I like these ones. Anyway, on to the next one. Next up we have Tom Petty and R. Kelly by Akits. Ak uh, same username on the forum. Um, poor timing possibly of making an R. K R. Kelly level. Um... Given his past finally caught up with him. I mean, we'll see. He's, he's got a bunch of money, so. So, we've got to collect the coin. Oh no. I'm bad at this kind of thing. I think I say that about everything. But it's true about most things. So some of these are going to be key coins. I hope they're unmissable somehow. I think you have to land and get them or something. Otherwise I will be failing this level. And I'll try it a couple of times, but if if you can miss those, I might eventually give up. This music's so good though. Why does Mario 3 have such good music? I kind of forgot. Ah, oh, damn it. Until Mario Maker 1, I've probably said this on a previous episode, how much nostalgia I have for Mario Bros. 3. Because I didn't play Mario Bros. 3 much as a kid, because I was kind of too young. Didn't really get it. Uh, couldn't really get through most of the levels. It was Mario World. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you can get these. Ah, uh, that's mean, though. Um... Wait, do you need that? Does that respawn? Wait, what? How? <laughs> How? Okay, we're gonna die. Because this is not gonna work. Do you need fly up? That seems hard. Yeah, how are you meant to do that? I must be missing something here. Uh, but yeah, I didn't really realize how much nostalgia I had for Mario 3. Because I didn't play much like Ed. I don't think it's possible to get that. But it must be. Because you need it for this. Is this second thing because there's a hidden thing over here? No. It's just so you can die. I don't understand this level. Yeah, so I played more World than I did 3. Oh god. I don't understand how you could do this. Every time you get that, you get big enough that you lose it again. Oh no, I got lucky there, but I need to jump to this and I'm going to fail and lose it again. Uh, that's bad. I'm just going to put that's bad placement. I legitimately just don't like the placement of that. This level's pretty decent other than that. But you kind of have to actively try to get it on your way down, otherwise you can't get this. Which I assume is essential because this is here. This is a cool idea though. You just need, like, I don't know, maybe you can just put like a pipe that spits these out or something. Oh god. Because also, yeah, you have this. No, I'm dead. Which is user error, but it's only really annoying because it's so hard to actually pick up the, the leaf. Because now I can't get it because I'm going to lose it because I need that coin. 
And that is the lowest jump that you could do in this, because you can't do the spin jump in three. Nope. Nope. That's annoying. It's a good level other than that though, it's a shame. If you went back and fixed this, but... Like, even just raise the spikes by like, a block. Using the conveyor belts to get your flight up is smart though. I haven't seen that before. I'm sure there's probably a bunch of levels that use it, but I've never seen it. Ah, oh, but then I'm doomed again. Yeah, I think you need to just put something that spits out leaves up that way or something. Or not, and just leave it super difficult, that's also possible. Not my kind of thing, but... Okay. Let's try this again. On the bright side, it looks like you can't miss those coins, which is definitely important. Oh, bugger. And then this won't respawn. So I need to die again. And not make the mistakes I made in that car level and start over. Because that doesn't take you back to the checkpoint, it takes you back to the start. Which I learned the hard way. And I've learned this the hard way. I guess. Well, that works. Okay. Let's get up here. Oh, God. Die again. Ugh. It's a good idea for a level, but it's so hard. And this bit's hard for dumb reasons. Alright, we'll give it... Let's see, three more tries. And then we'll give up on it, because this bit is just irritating. Like, it's not... This bit isn't even that hard. I'm just making silly mistakes. But it's not like you're know, throwing weird turns at, you know, you can't predict it in your F and it's all pretty, ah, except maybe that one. It's all pretty like well choreographed. So it's like, hey, I know where this is going. You've got enough time to redirect your flight. Which is good. It's literally just this bit. Where it's like, hey, by the way, if you jump too high by accident, you get hit by spikes and you die. And it's annoying. There's only one of these things you need to get through the entirety of the rest of the level. Okay. One more try. I can count to three the same way that Frieza can, can count to five minutes. Good start. I think this could be it. I'm going to jinx it by saying that. I think I messed up that first one. I'm going to run out. Yeah, there we go. That's the, maybe the one that said this is just no leeway. I'll tell you what, one more time. This will be the last one. And I'll come back and finish this whole video probably. Yep. Call on it. I'm still giving it a like. But it definitely has some issues. Mainly around needing that one leaf to get through the entirety of the second half of the level. And it being positioned in a way that means... 75% of the time you pick it up, you get hit and lose it, which is meh. It's annoying. Uh, but that next section is quite fun, and I would probably have stuck in and, and finished it if I didn't have to do this little bit of the leaf every time. It's simple as that. 
I like level R on that though, and I will come back and fetch it in my own time. So yeah, give a shot. Code is below as always. On to the next one. Next up we have Don't Forget Your Spin Button by Cody ZU. Cody Davies TV on the forum. Let's give it a shot. So fairly normal course as long as you remember all your buttons. So I guess you have to use the spin button for stuff. They said it's not super tricky but you do have to be careful. <laughs> okay yeah, spin button important. Uh, less important there. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I guess I need that. Oh, no. Maybe I do need spin jump on that actually. I forgot that the damage in this and the this team. I mean most teams. Just not. Oh, this one does spell more turtles. I don't need to kill myself. Oh, no. Didn't need to do that either. Oh god, everyone has died here. That's pretty funny. Everyone dies to the shell. I need to stop doing that. this let's get through this let's take this guy let's do this let's do ah oh, try to be fancy and destroy the show i don't know what i'm trying to do sort of thing. i think i'm trying to go up there i think i need the shells yeah the, the you know what i mean the springs that was silly. Come on. Got it. I'm trying to figure out what's making that noise. Something bouncing off a one way thing. That's what it sounds like. I thought for a second it was coming in the real life. The real lives. Oh. I don't know. Well, I never encountered it. <laughs> Whatever the thing was. Unless I missed it and didn't realise what was making the noise. Cool level though. Five star podcast, five star run time. It's a good old Waypoint motto. You should listen to Waypoint's podcasts. They are very good. Five star. And very long. Five star. I've been listening to their series on EVA recently because I watched all of Neon Genesis Evangelion over the past three days because it's really good and easy to binge. And I didn't have much else to do this weekend. So all my plans fell through. Which is good because it means I have more time to play Mario Maker. Anyway, good job, Cody. I like that level. I'd like to see a longer version of it. I think you could do it if you haven't already. Nice, let's have a sneak peek. I'd like to see like a longer scale version of that same idea. Mario Athletics could be that. Oh, Adventure Link looks good. You better post that in the thread because I want to. I want to play it. I want an excuse to play it on video. Anyway, on to the next level. Next up we have Swinging Swamp from our old buddy James Tarr. They've made quite a few levels we've played in the past. And they've all been very good. I mean all levels I've played have been good. Mm 
<laughs> Bad. <laughs> Lost Shrek memes. I can only wish that Mario would include all stars on the theme songs. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't think I need any of these coins. Which is not a good reason to not get coins. Oh god. I do actually really like this theme. I don't think I've played this theme very much. I assume this is the nighttime version of the forest in Mario 1? Oh god. It's actually got almost a kind of weird Mario 2 look to it. I don't know what it is. I think it's these these green blocks. Just remind me of Mario 2. I messed that up. I thought I could be fancy. Bounce off that Goomba midair because I was going to miss anyway. As it turns out, that was over ambitious of me. Don't hit things. Oh, I should have jumped off that. But I did it. That's pretty good. I like that. It's a good use of those kind of swing claws. Oh god, El Foro, you're great. It looks terrifying. I don't know why. It's like possessed. Good comments. Look at that. James Tarr again, the recognition they deserve for their levels. If only we all got as many. When I say we all, I don't, I'm not including myself in that. I just mean all the other levels I've played. I don't get many, but my levels aren't very good, so that's fine. Right, on to the next one. I think I've got time for at least one more. All right. Next up, we have Yoshi Ski Lift by a name I cannot read. Or Olovolo on the forum. It's heard as based on some of my favorite Yoshi's Island levels. I have a deep dark secret that I've never played Yoshi's Island beyond the first level. I think I played the first level while I got Super Nintendo Mini. So I have no excuse, I I own it. I've just never played it. I liked it, I love the art style. Oh, wow, that was stupid. Uh, I just haven't played it. I don't know, I, don't judge me. I bought my Super Nintendo Mini mainly to hack and fill with tons of games that I definitely own and didn't get off archive.org and then not play any of them, except some of the weird Japanese ones. I played some weird Japanese Super Nintendo game about a high school girl that hunted ghosts, and that was pretty decent. It was a lot more decent than I was expecting to be, actually. If you have recommendations for weird Japanese <laughs> Super Nintendo games, please give me the name of them below. Probably not RPGs, because I'd like to be able to actually play them. It's like all that weird kind of like 80s, 90s, you know, anime stuff. But, oh my god, I've never noticed that Yoshi slides on his belly. That's fantastic. Alright, I'm pro Yoshi now. I throw those dry ones as well. I don't really use Yoshi very much. Very few levels actually use Yoshi. Let me make a Yoshi level. Or at least a level that has Yoshi in it. it doesn't need to be a Yoshi specific level. I feel like I never see Yoshi except in the context of he's dying. Which I, you know, I'm a hypocrite for saying that because my own level drops Yoshi into pet bombs. <laughs> Just, Yoshi belly slide never so good. Oh yeah, Mario time. That level's good. 
yeah, it, it felt like an actual kind of Mario level. Like it was it wasn't you know made to be some overly complex puzzly thing. It was just a cool, simple little platform level. I enjoyed it. That's kind of level I like. Good job. That's definitely another. I'm trying to follow the makers that I play levels of. I've mentioned this before. Everyone from the forum I try to follow. Even though I never use it because I'm just putting in the codes from the forum because that makes this easier. Oh, it's the first level. You should make more levels. That one was good. Anyway, on to the next one. Next up we have Don't Forget Your Sunscreen by Slime Siren. Same username on the forum. I feel like we had one that had sunscreen in the name before. But it was different. This also is castle themed. Can you put the sun inside the castle? I mean, of course you can. Ah, yeah. uh, <laughs> no. Failing, stumbling the first hurdle. Give me a, give me a, oh my God. Give me a bow. Give me a bow. I think I failed because lava's increased so much. Because I assume it's just going to keep rising. I managed to fail at the first hurdle. What is this level? No, I need the... I need the thing. This level's very silly so far and I really like it. Oh, I need... That's pretty good. I don't know you could do that. I've not really used the... the dry bone shell much. <laughs> that is a very silly level, Slime Siren. But I really like that. Mario number one. All right, that was much shorter than I thought it was going to be. Uh, not a criticism level, a criticism of my video planning. So I'll do one more. Even though I said that twice in a row now. I enjoyed that. I like the dry bone shell, like I said, I've not actually used it much. I've only really used it in story levels. Um, but it's cool. It lets you swim, or use it as a boat. Anyway, good level, Slime Siren. So as it turns out, the next level is also one of Slime Sirens. This one's Dangerous Ski Lift. I am. Um, I think that icon at the top right means it has a course like completion thing. There we go. Reach goal after grabbing at least 165 coins. Oof. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, the noise these make in New Super Mario Bros. is. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> What's this? Ah, oh, it's, mm, it's no good. I mean, it probably doesn't help that I'm listening to my headphones that are going through the capture card and so have a delay. But I don't like the noise itself, never mind when it gets played. This level is also tough. I mean, it's not that tough. I'm just, you know, messing up simple jumps. That one in particular. If I go over that, I can do it. Completion rate wasn't that high for this either. So I'm using that as an excuse when I keep botching it. Go! Why is that corner so hard? This time. There we go. Mm, sort of. Okay. I'm missing some coins. Hopefully you don't need all of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is terrifying. No! Oh no! That was not worth the risk. This time I'll try to get through it without risking it for the 50. Maybe you don't need it. 
if you need it, then I know for next time, and I'll try and figure it out. I don't know if you just have to jump when it's not moving and then try to get back to it. Oh. oh no. It's farther than last time. Usually, I mean, not overall, you know what I mean? Farther than not last time, but all the other times I keep hitting that corner. <laughs> Wait! I don't want to be here! This is bad! Oh, no. I missed all those coins. This was just 165 of them. It's like that power block level, it's just lies. I don't need that one. Oh, no. uh, I can do this. I've still not tried Patrick's level. Uh, Patrick Clifford. He made what seems like a hellish nightmare of a level. Which used these to bounce around. And I didn't bother trying it because uh, it seemed too hard for me. Seems like Dan Riker had finally infected his mind. There's levels I've still not played either. I will probably play when Giant Bomb eventually bring back their Giant Bomb Makes Mario series. Which, yeah, it seems only a matter of time. I'll play that probably on this, this video series. I was going to call it stream, but it's not. Um, but the, the focus is always going to be on the Waypoint forums, just because... You know, I like people's levels there. I will say a couple of people posted like the the level sharing thread in there isn't explicitly share your own levels. It's just share cool levels. And some people have posted, you know, like I think someone posted Dan Riker's level and stuff like that. Um, I'm not gonna play those. They posted the someone posted the Celeste ones. Um, one of the makers of Celeste, they made. I think four levels and they're all really good I've played them I've not finished any of them because they're hard but they're all really cool takes on Mario because there's someone who makes very different platformers and they're very good I recommend them but I'm not going to play them on these videos uh, just because oh, no. I'm trying to focus on going through the forum thread for no good reason it's not a uh, you know, it's not like, hey, I need to. This is the only place I can take these. It's literally just, that's the goal I set for myself. It's arbitrary, it's silly, but it's fun, so I'm doing it. It also gives me a very clear, like, wall that I can go, these are the levels I play recorded, and here's the ones I can play whenever I want. <laughs> so I don't have to, you know, oh, God. I wonder if that 50 is worth getting and then just going. Like, can I drop from here? Is the trade off worth it? Let's find out. Uh, yeah, like, there's no good reason for it. I just like setting this arbitrary wall of I can play these levels in my own time and then these ones not. That last jump is insane. I'm gonna be here a while. Buckle in, guys. This is the three hour long episode, as you can see from the timeline. Jesus, that last jump. I thought this corner was bad. I mean, not bad. You know, you know what I mean? Difficult. The actual level's very good. Oh, ah, no! no. Um, but yes, I like playing Mario Maker. I play. A lot of Mario Maker outside of the, you know, couple of hours of video I put up every week. Uh, although I've not actually played much of any outside of the video this week. Or last week, by the time this goes up. Because I can try to finish Valkyrie Chronicles 4. I think I mentioned this before. Uh, before Fire Emblem comes out because I can only have so many tactics RPGs in my life at one time I've reached the last level or at least what I think is the last level it definitely 
seems to be culminating while the main character straight up said this could be our final mission which sounds like code for in the story they can't specifically know that this is the end but it's the end oh my god that last jump that i thought was going to mess me up i got second try that's not bad i'm happy with that good job slime tyrant like that. That's a good use of those claws as well. But yeah, I hate the sound of the claws in New Super Mario Bros. I don't know what it is, they just make a noise that's just not good. <laughs> but the level's really good. Uh, but that's that, this for, oh my god, if I can just speak. That is it for this episode. Uh, you should be able to see at this point, depending on how long I've rambled, links to the playlist for this and whatever YouTube thinks you should watch from the channel other than this, or it might just be more of these. Uh, please go watch our other stuff. Again, we have some more edited stuff, uh, which is like the You Might Have Missed series. There's only a couple episodes that so far, some video reviews, that kind of stuff. Like, subscribe. Head into the waypoint forum if you've got a level to share either put it in the comments below and i'll try to get to it or go to the waypoint forum post it there and i'm more likely to get to it but yeah see you next time